WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant, kind of cool, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a slightly mixed bag out there. The mix is coming from the Russell off five points. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices trading in the upside. Dow's up 165, S&P 31, NASDAQ 167. That's a 1% move to the upside. Same for the semis, are up 47 points. You've got gold trading out at uh, 2054. That's up three bucks. Silver's flat. Lights recruit is up 28 pennies, trading at 73.61. Natural gas off four cents and the 30 year treasury is also flat. Printed out at 121.01. We can figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin the upper left hand corner of the ES mini. We're at a new all time high. No topping uh, pattern. There's a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that needs a bearish reversal candle. It is in a breakout bull mode. We're above profile. We're above Stevie's green oscillator and change line. It's a breakout bull on the daily. It's a breakout bull on the weekly. It's a breakout party. And that breakout party is going to stay as long as that spot volatility remains below its 50-day exponential moving average. 50-day printed out at 1359. We've got price trading out at 1309. The NQ. A close above 17,793.50 negates its Rhodes momentum, Rhodes momentum indicator top. There is a new profile that's attempting to form. We won't know until 6 p.m. whether this takes hold or not. Right now, we know that sellers were lined up at 17,664, and so far they have been overrun. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it too is trying to form a new profile. Again, we won't know until this evening. Right now, you've got resistance up at 104.19, 104.11, I should say, and support down at 102.90. Gold's trading inside that cone of silence you got that rising and descending price trend channels out there nothing more to report silver finding uh support at the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile as well as its rising trend line as well if you take a look at late speed crude doing something very similar to silver in that it's got that rising and falling price trends it's got a bullish structured profile a close now this is right now because price was below that bullish structure profile for two consecutive sessions 73.91 is the key level that price must close above if it doesn't this is just a counter trend move if it does close above 73.91, we should see a move up towards that 78.62 level. Natural gas just looks ugly. And that's why you and I will sit around and we'll wait for that weekly bullish reversal candle to confirm some type of intermediate term bottom. And finally, if we take a look at that 30 year treasury, pulling back into that buy zone, the buy zone for it is between 119.23 and 120.17. Folks, thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. And be safe out there. Take care.